Hello there, what's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to be unboxing and taking a look at the X-Wing Fugitives and Collaboratoras. That's a, it's a new type of dinosaur called Collaboratoras. And we're gonna be taking a look at this particular pack and uh, I don't know what the Collaboratoras is. I wonder if there's a dinosaur in this box. Uh, if you guys are new here to the channel, I, uh, I want to let you know a couple of things. First off, I do understand that this word is actually called collaborators, but it's much more fun to say collaboratoras. Uh, also, there is a, a new round of the giveaway going on right now for $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It is as simple as that. Also, I want to thank today's sponsor, uh, Luxury Playstyle. Uh, be sure to check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, you can use Crabock VIP as your discount code to save 15%. And on orders of $35 or more that use this card, you're going to get this awesome uh, lightsaber nunchuck coin with uh, double-sided with the blue lightsaber nunchucks on the front, red lightsaber nunchucks on the back. Uh, I love their tokens. They have amazing full metal double-sided tokens. They come in a variety of finishes and you're really going to impress your opponent when you bust out. Instead of using regular cardboard tokens, you pull out the full metal glorious looking tokens. You're gonna be uh, the envy of everybody at your tabletop. So check them out. Uh, we've got our cardboard here. Uh, we've got all of our different pilots uh, inserts. Uh, of course, the, um, the Y-Wing pilots are going to have firing arcs. And of course, your HWK 290 pilots will not. Uh, you will also have some tokens. We've got lots of bomb tokens. And we've got uh, our target locks, and, or rather our number icons. Uh, we have uh, all of the different tokens that you might want. Uh, some turret arc indicators. And of course, our movement dials. Um, where we've got our bases, we've got the minis and the cards. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to actually we're, we're going to take a look at these minis, but I'm also going to compare them to some older minis because I think this is the first time we've seen the uh, the HWK 290 show up in X Wing Second Edition, and I honestly I kind of hoped that they would have done a little more with this one. I was hoping to have it kind of resized and uh, revamped a little bit. Um, oh man, this is uh, this is pretty nice. I haven't looked at this one very closely. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back to the good old days of X-wing 1.0 and see is it the same? Is it the same? It's the same model. It looks like just a repaint, a nice repaint, but still a repaint. I know there were some questions on whether or not this was to scale, uh, if it was uh, the correct scale. And uh, yeah, it definitely looks like it's exactly the same as the uh, the other HWK. So this is from 1.0. This is very very old. Um, all right, but yeah, no, it's a it's a really nice repaint. This is the I believe the paint scheme from the the Caleb Doom comic book. Uh, our Y wings, on the other hand, are not our 1.0 Y wings. So we've got two of them. I believe these are the same. These are um, largely supposed to be uh, the uh, the Y-Wings from the Leia book Bloodline. Uh, a lot of these uh, uh, Maxine warriors and stuff uh, were, were using stuff. And you're going to see a lot of the pilot cards in here are referencing from that. So we're going to look at a couple of different Y-Wings, right? We're going to go back to the, the original Scum Y-Wings. Um, very different model, right? This is the X-Wing 1.0 Y-Wing. And this is the X-Wing 2.0 Y-Wing. Uh, let's also, uh, and, and, we'll, and here's the, another X-Wing 1.0 Y-Wing. This is the Rebel version. Uh, but we've got the X-Wing 2.0 Rebel Y-Wing, which uh, a lot of people had problems with that top uh, turret on the top. Now, this is the same model, it looks like, as the X-Wing 1.0 Y-Wing. But an interesting thing about this is they actually painted the turret this time. You can see this was just, like, left unpainted right here, and this one is actually painted. So that's, that is that is a bonus. So we got some some nice little... Uh, I mean, not a lot of detail. It's, it's mostly just gray, right? It's 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 it's, uh, it's fifty shades of gray, something like that. <laughs> I don't know, um, but it's uh, it's it's uh, we, we do have like the the astromech painted in there, but uh, it's mostly just gray and a little bit underneath. Okay, so not 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 much more to look at with those right now. What we're gonna do? We're gonna look at these cards and uh, yeah, I'll show you what's coming in this particular pack. 
All right, so we've got a lot of different upgrades in here. Oh, well, some condition cards too. Look at all of it. Zam Wessel condition cards. All right, so we have, uh, we've got a lot of cards. This is actually gonna be a good kind of catch up kit if you are newer to the game and you're looking for a lot of upgrade cards because you're gonna get an awful lot in this one particular pack. So we're gonna start off looking at the pilots. First off, we've got uh, Tapuski, Tapusk. Uh, the, he, uh, he's gonna have initiative five. Uh, during the end phase before an enemy ship in your turret arc recovers uh, one charge or force recurring, uh, you may spend two uh, so that they do not recover that force or charge. So that's a really nasty way to just shut somebody's ability that they were counting on down. Of course, you can't do that every turn. You've got Gamut Key, uh, Initiative 3. Uh, and these are all new pilots, by the way, for... For the uh, for these ships, so that is a cool way to get brand new pilots for your existing ships. Um, at, at initiative three, at the start of the end phase, you may spend two charge to choose yourself or a ship uh, with uh, in your turret arc with one or more circular tokens. During the end phase, circular tokens are not removed from that ship, which is a great way to keep those focuses or evades and cool things like that. Again, the round tokens are the ones that come away at the end of the round. So that's a good way for you to remember that. We've got Kanan Jarrus, a light side Jedi. Uh, of course, light side is uh, only something that you're going to see if you look at like list building stuff in the, uh, in, in, like in the, in the points documents or, 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 you know, there's just keywords that only apply to list building. They don't print that on the cards, but uh, he's got a force recharge uh, recurring. First uh, light side Jedi in the scum and villainy. Um, when, uh, when you were a, sh or just scum, I guess, I guess it's really not villainy anymore, right? Now it's like scum and do-goodery. Those filthy do-gooders. <laughs> now, while you are a ship in your turret arc defense, you may spend it a force. If you do, the attacker rolls one fewer attack die. And of course, we've got some of the basic cards, which is not new, Spice Runner. Then we've got some new Y-Wings. We got Lima Kai. Initiative five, before you engage, if you are not in an enemy ship's forward arc, you may acquire a lock on, enemy, on an enemy ship in your front half, which is cool. That's why they put those all those markers all over the ship bases now. We've got Arlie's Hadrasian, again, uh, from from the uh, from the books from, from the Maxine Warriors, uh, you know, clan in, uh, in Leia, um, uh, the Bloodlines book. Uh, Arlie's Hadrasian's initiative four, well, you perform a forward arc attack. If you're damaged, you may change one of your eyeballs to a crit. If you defend, if you're damaged, you must change one of your eyeballs to a blank. Ooh, she wants to attack. Padrick, flying over Coruscant there. Beautiful art, by the way. I love the art on all of these cards. Uh, Padrick is after a friendly device that you have locked, detonates an enemy ship at range zero to one of that device gains a strain token. We've got the Amaxine Warriors. Got three generics here, uh, three copies of these. And uh, one of the big differences is uh, these uh, are gonna have the tech upgrade. Again, they don't print that on here, so you might not even know that unless until you're in the points generate or the, you know, the list builder. But yeah, they do have tech upgrades on a lot of this new stuff, which is pretty cool. The, and then we have three copies of the Janata Security Officer card. Uh, we've got some quick builds here, so we'll take a look. We've got uh, Gamut Key and Kanan Jaris quick build, also to Pusk, and Spice Runner upgrade. Or, uh, and we've got uh, not upgrade, but uh, quick builds. We've got uh, we've got two only two Y wing quick builds too. So we're not going to have like four different Y wing quick builds, just these. And so we have uh, we've got Arlis Hadrasian, Podrick, Maxine Bomber, Lima Key. Limikai and the Janata security officer. Uh, we're gonna have two copies of You Should Thank Me and two copies of You'd Better Me Business. These are conditions for, uh, for what's her name? The, the girl who is uh, in the, the, the shapeshifter from episode two. Uh, she has actually already shown up. She's in here somewhere. There we go, Zam Wessel. Zam Wessel's gonna show up in here. We'll, we'll get to her later. I'm gonna do them all in order. So we're gonna have two copies of that. Um, We've got the Bounty Hunter hired. Oh, this is really fun. I, I, I thought they would have put these at the end of the pack. Um, this is not for tournament play. I mean, there's two of these cards, and then they also have In It for the Money. These are great cards that allow you to have scum go out and, and join the Rebels or join the Empire or the, you know, or the, it's just, 
like I love that or resistance or forced order, right? Like it just I, I like you can join the bad guys or the separatists, right? Or or the republic in this case. You can have your your scum and villainy go join the good guys or go and join the bad guys. And this is only for epic play. So just for fun. Just when you're playing for fun, you can't do this in a tournament. But uh, I love this. I think more games need to have cards like this to let those, you know, Boba Fett type folks go ahead and join more stuff. Okay. We've got Cutthroat. We got, this is one of the new, uh, new cards. We got three copies of Cutthroat. Uh, we're going to have a, a, one copy of Dead Eye Shot. We're going to have two copies of the Marg Sable Closure. We've got one copy of Saturation Salvo. Two copies of the Tyrfon Belly Run. Uh, this one came with the Rebel one, too, even though they didn't have Y-Wings in there. I thought that was funny. Um, we've got a copy of Extreme Maneuvers and Patience. We've got, uh, we got some tech, too. So we've got two copies of the Automated Targeting prior or Target Priority. We have... One copy of Targeting Synchronizer. Uh, we've got, got some turrets. So we got a dorsal turret and an ion cannon turret. <clears throat> we've got plasma torpedoes. And we got some crew. We've got the Gamut Key crew. Um, and it's the same ability as the Gamut Key uh, pilot. We've got Hondo Onaka. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Uh, Hondo has the awesome action on there of choosing two ships at range one to three that are friendly to each other and I uh, coordinate one of the ships and jam the other, ignoring range restrictions. I love it. And a lot of this stuff is stuff that we're going to be getting a lot of stuff that we got in Django Fett's. Um, if you were playing Separatist, that was in Django Fett's Slave 1, but now we're going to be getting some of that stuff as well. Uh, we got the new Protectorate Gleb. Um, Gleb is such a wonderful name, isn't it? Maybe not. This is going to go on Imperial, First Order, or Scum. And you have to... Uh, he's going to give you the red coordinate action. After you coordinate, you may transfer an orange or red token from your ship to the ship you coordinated. Uh, we're going to have Zam Wessel. We talked about her already. She's going to let you use those condition tokens. Uh, we've got a Little Boba. Little Boba Fett is going to come in here. We've got the Separatist Gunner. Only one of those. We're going to get two copies of the Weapons System Officer. Uh, this is one of the newer cards. We're going to get the uh, lovely uh, Genius, uh, which is uh, a nice, nice, uh, nice little guy. We've got R4B11 uh, as an astromech. We get R5TK as an astromech. You can make it if you want to attack friendly ships. We're going to get some new uh, stuff here. we got some bombs. we got concussion bombs. One copy of those, that's actually. we got two copies of thermal detonators. We've got two copies of the false transponder codes and a single copy of the engine upgrades or upgrade duh, no s all right that is about it for this pack uh, i'm kind of ashamed that they are not this i'm disappointed maybe that they didn't really you know they had an opportunity to kind of redo the hwk but it's just a repaint so that eh, much is kind of a bummer although i guess from a certain point of view these are just repaints of the wiling but at least it's the upgraded wiling this is one that i thought could have potentially been made a little bit larger because uh there's been some discrepancies on the cockpit size there but um, I would have liked to have seen it be just a little bit larger. It always seems like it's slightly larger than, uh, than how we kind of see it here. But uh, all in all, great starting point for, for newer players. Lots of cards here. Way to get your collection going, to get your collection kind of, uh, you know, uh, expanded a little bit. And I love the new direction they're taking with uh, including more for fun and epic uh, cards in, in, in their expansions, which is a great way to expand the game's fun factor and get people playing epic a little bit more, especially with more huge ships on the horizon, especially for the scum and villainy faction, because they're going to have access to that new huge Trident Assault-class ship that's going to be coming probably later this year. All right, guys, that's all I've got. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check links in the description below. You can join Discord server. You can also uh, check out social media links and also the merch store. And don't forget Luxury Playstyle. Use that code VIP. Save yourself 15%. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Big thanks to my patrons. If you're interested in supporting the channel, check the links. The patrons help keep this channel going. So thank you guys so much. And as always, have a great day.